So we're currently staying at the Rosen Inn Pointe. We stayed here 18 months ago. Yes. So just to let you know if anything has changed, we're doing another hotel tour. The first thing we noticed is actual works are going on in Block A, which we believe is the renewal of the railings. Looking around the hotel, it looks like all the other blocks have been done, or at least painted up, because they look quite nice. You get free parking here, and free resort fees. Yes, you don't know, no, no resort fees and free parking. Yes, so let's have a little look inside. The foyer. So when you first come in, reception's on the right, and the Zebra Sports Bar, which is open from four o'clock. Just have a quick look of what the Zebra Bar looks like. That's the bar. Obviously it only opens at four o'clock. It's a stage where they do karaoke some nights. Got a pool table. You've got a nice table, chairs. And you've got an outside area for sitting down. Having a drink with the fans on top. You've got two little shops here. You also got a restaurant where breakfast is how much, babe? I believe it's for two of us, it's $34. $34 for two. And you've got a little shop here. No, it's like, it's contrary with pressure, but they're asking if you want to... Well, you can actually get coffees. Yeah? Let's go this way, babe. You've got ATM machines. Discount ticket purchases, which we've not used, so we can't verify if they're good or not, can we babe? You've got a light bite shop, which is open to around about 11 o'clock. It's open all night long, you just have to go to reception to pay for everything. You can get Cheeseburgers, hot dogs, and pizzas. Bottles of wine. And a bottle of wine is how much? $12. $12, which is quite nice just to have that and sit out on the patio here, which you're allowed to do. At night, yeah? Let's have a quick look at the pools. It is October. Well, coming up to November now, October the 20th today, isn't it? 19th? 16th. Oh, 16th. <laughs> October the 16th today, so you can actually hear the works going on. I don't know how long they're going to go on. Best to check if you're staying here. Quick look at one of the pools. Obviously not many people here because of the actual noise. To be dead truthful, this is the first time we've actually had any noise. And we stayed here for 10 nights so night. But you can see the pool. It's pretty nice. So block A is where the works are being done. Block B is the next block along. And as you can see, it looks at least, the railings look as if it's all better paint up here since the last time we was here, isn't it, oh, babe? Yeah, it does. So yeah, the last time it did look a little bit tacky here and there, but everything seems to be painted it up and fresh. Yeah, it's been spruced up. Not the actual um, room, so they're exactly the same. This is block C, which is one we stayed in last time we was here, overlooking the game, room. the game room. You don't always get these birds walking about, but you do see them occasionally. Now, little friends, looking at the kiddie park. So here is the actual game video arcade. You have a pool table here, which has got something on there, temporary out of order. Quick look inside one of the game rooms. And you get prepaid 
tokens, tokens. don't you? Yes, do. Yes. To load onto your player's card, which are 25 cents a token, I think, or a credit. So we're going past block D now. This is the second of the pools. As you can see, it's now quarter past 11 in October and the sun is not on the complete pool. By 12 o'clock it gets the sun right until sunset. There is a disabled facility to get into the pool. It's pretty noisy with the road at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, which you don't seem to notice normally, do you, when you're here? No, no. When you're sitting here, but as you can see, the pool is exactly the same as the last pool. We call this Pool B. All the pools have three towels. Again, that's all part of the non-existent resort fee because you pay no resort fees at the Rose and Inn, which is well good. On to pool number three. So we're now at block E and the last of the pools. Truck going past there. <laughs> and the last of the pools, again, doesn't get the sun in October until a little bit later. But same as the other ones, yeah? yeah? I said this before on my last time of touring this hotel 18 months ago. The landscape in here is lovely, isn't yeah, it? Beautiful. It's kept really, really nice here. It really is. And we're just wandering around now onto block F, which is the big block furthest away from where the works are being done. Nice little sit down area there. Very nice there, they didn't we? Yeah, you did. So, let's carry on. Talking to one or two people that are staying here, they've all said the same as us. It's a budget hotel and they stay here once and then they decide to literally stay here again because yeah. they've had a nice experience yeah. of it. Yeah, so it's pretty. Return, don't they? A lot of people return to this hotel. They really do. So, as I said, we're standing block D. We're standing the other side. The other side. So, if you want to get away from the noise of the Interstate 4, ask to be seat, or ask for a room with no views of the pools. And it is a lot quieter this side of the hotel, isn't it? It is. Yeah. They but do. We've had no problems, we've had no we've problems had no whatsoever. Problems we've had no problems at all. And they do seem to sit. There is a lot of English people staying in this hotel. Yeah, and Scottish. And Scottish people, English Scottish from the UK. And they seem to put us in block D and F. Yeah. They keep us this side of the. Maybe that's just because they're keeping everyone away from where the works are going say, on. Yeah, I think probably because of the noise. Yeah. Down the end. But anyway, let's carry on. Here's a quick look at the actual hotel. The walk we did was from the main lobby around the playground, past pool two, past pool three, old F and G block. That's the actual restaurant, that's the bar, that's the light by it, and that's where you can get coffees. At the moment, there's only one elevator working but we've not really had any problems with it, have we? So we go up to floor, floor four. I'm going floor four to show you the laundry facilities. As you can see, it tells you here, elevators A and B, ice is second, third, fifth floor, laundry is the fourth floor, C and D. So there is a laundry on every single block, as, yes. Every single block and also ice, free ice making machines. There is the actual laundry room. Dryers. Washing machines, tokens. How much are the tokens, babe? One token, yeah. dollar, dollar a token. And then one token gets you washing powder. Yeah. Two tokens get you 
It's one dollar a token. To use the washing machine, it's how many tokens? The washing machine with three tokens. And the dryer? Was four tokens. Four, you sure it's four tokens? Four tokens. It does say three on there. Oh, maybe it was three then. I believe it's three. So the cost of a wash seven was tokens. seven. Which is not too it's seven dollars. No, and it is. It and it keeps you, your clothes clean. Stairways have been updated. They was really grummy, the stairways, wasn't they? But they're not too bad at all now. So the ice machine, which is free ice. Free. Soda machines are not free. And as it's got there, the Light Bite Mini Mart store is open 24 hours, but the actual after 11 o'clock you do have to pay at reception for the items that you pick up as i said we're standing block d on the sixth floor icon park is literally to be seen in the distance at night straight over there is the magic kingdom fireworks which you see every night at the moment that's 10:30. Room tour coming up. Standing 2616, and we stayed here for ooh, about nine days now. So, just to show you a quick room tour, same as it was last time we was here, you've got your air conditioning unit, which has got eat, cool, and off, and what temperature you want it to be set at. Um, some say a bit noisy it can be at night you do notice it a little bit at night the our room is right opposite the i4 and when the first night we was here it was noisy but since then we've actually sort of accustomed to it but where we actually live we don't really have much no like traffic noise so anyway this is the room for you you get a lovely chair to sit down in which i don't think i've sat down at all in the whole holiday you get two really comfy beds you get a light with plug sockets on you also get a little radio with plug sockets and usb chargers a telephone you get a safe which is big enough to put laptops in and things like that you get another bed on this side here you've got a nice mirror there another seat with carol's clothes over you've got another lamp with a power socket there you get a tv with loads and loads of channels you probably won't watch that no, you get um oh you, you don't want me to open the drawers but no, just yeah. just okay so you get four drawers there to put things in can i open the yeah quickly you get a nice mirror there and you get a nice big wardrobe there you get somewhere to keep your luggage you get an iron which carol uh, which ironing board and iron which carol used quite a lot didn't you yeah yeah um you get somewhere here to hang your wet stuff up towels you get a microwave you get a fridge which we just keep our coke in oh also got a, a little sandwich here well didn't know that you get a place wash basin another mirror plenty of towels plenty of towels the bathroom this toilet you get a nice shower yeah you also get a bath if you wanted a bath but that's basically it um you also get a coffee machine you get everything that you would need for two weeks yeah. yeah don't you everything you need and we this not use the coffee machine but we have used the microwave yeah microwave. Really worked yeah everything works good um as we said we did get a little bit of noise the first night we come here because because you do hear the roadways but after that yeah yeah but um no 
pretty reasonable room for a budget hotel and this is a budget hotel this is what you have to keep telling yourself we well and we literally mark it up as a budget hotel we don't actually turn around and say oh this is luxury oh, we, this should be like this you should have a foot spa you know you're not paying for that yeah and also you do get all the your free parking yeah there's no resort fees whatsoever and free internet access which we've both been on pretty well haven't we yeah. eh? so you know you get all that and you, you can't argue for it you cannot and it's a lovely location and well this was the room tour this was our view at nights we did see right over there we could see the magic kingdom fireworks, fireworks which was quite nice but room tour finished and we love it here right so our review of the hotel is we found it excellent excellent yeah we've always found this hotel Never really, really trouble nice at all. no problems at all you get used to the actual road noise from outside after the first day you do it yeah. you do actually hear the road noise as i said on the room tour but it's not overly but it's not over no um the beds are really comfortable yes yeah the maid comes around every day yeah it cleans them cleans it's, them. it's clean it's tidy new towels yeah new towels we've had no problems the idea that you do get free resort fees you don't get no resort or no fees. resort fees is a big bonus isn't it yeah. especially and if you've got no a car fees, yeah because we because we are a car it's a big big mm. like, thing for us isn't it yeah very very big and um no we've got no problems at all yet. in fact we've got one little problem our flight they're not picking us up from this hotel until three o'clock and check out is 12. at 12 so we asked could we extend it and they wanted 50 dollars 50 dollars for three hours well yeah 50 dollars for three hours but if you went over the three o'clock mark then you, they charge you in old days yeah which seems a little bit steep you just three hours if they just done one hour mm -hmm. something like that for it would be okay so we're not going to pay that we're just going to put our cases downstairs and, and wait got, around because but there's lots of places you can yeah lots of places wait around you can, anyway yeah. they the deli you can sit yeah. around the pool there's three towels yeah. around the pool you do get people coming past well, there's children even so you so most of the day if you want privacy you do actually have to keep the curtains closed but apart from that we've had no problems whatsoever really no, at and all. we definitely will stay here again i would definitely come back again. yeah enjoy it it's exactly the same as it was last time it's just had a little bit of a paint up outside to make it look a little bit more prettier yes mm. yes uh, Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got something out of this. And if you're thinking of staying here, I can't see no reason why you wouldn't want to stay here. No. You'd say, no. I think it is a budget comes, hotel. It's it not is. just us that come back. Everyone has yeah. been back two or three yeah. times that we know. Yeah. It is a budget hotel, but... It's a good budget hotel. There's nothing really that budget about it, is there? No. It no. does everything you want, but you'll stay in the land. Exactly. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.